Welcome back to another Yabby adventure guys. Today we're out at a Yabby Dam. So we're gonna try this dam right here. Now I've been here before on previous videos. So I know we're gonna get some Yabbies today. So what we'll do, we'll just catch a few Yabbies, just enough for a feed. And we'll do a bit of a catch and cook. Probably a um, chili, honey, Yabby, garlic, on a bed of rice. So that sounds good. And I'm hungry, it is lunchtime, so let's get into baiting these nets. Alrighty, we'll bait these up, get them in the water. So the bait we're using today, sardines. They proved to be a winner last time. They caught all the abbeys. They seem to just love them, so the nets. Once again, open top lift nets. So I've got a few of them, and the black opera house nets. These ones here. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna about two sardines per net. We're just gonna hold them in with a trusty cable tie. So we'll get them in, whack them in the water. <laughs> I'm dying for a feed of yabbies. It's been a bloody good good season so far for yabbies. Even though summer's just started, the few times I've been yabbying, oh, cleaning up every time. But I only take what I need, chuck the rest back for next time. Fishing for the future. All right, I'll get all those nets baited up and we'll get them in. All righty, we're done. All right. So what we're gonna do is I reckon stick one over there near the creek, one here, one here, one there, and one over there around the whole dam. So the plan is to catch about 10 or 15 and chuck the nets back out, do a bit of a cook up and pull the nets one more time and see how many we get. So, all right, let's get them in the water. Alrighty, net number one, open top lift net. Go straight out here. If I can throw properly. Try that again. Oh, beautiful. Alrighty. Net number two. Black Opera House. He can go out here. Oh, that one's on the money shot. Alrighty. Net number three, I think. They can go out near the creek. Right there. <laughs> Alrighty, two more nets. Give it 10 more minutes and we'll check them. Net number four, right there. All right guys, this is the lucky last net. We'll go on the other side of the creek, chuck it near there. <laughs> I'm excited. I can taste the yabbies already. Haven't even caught any. Right here, I reckon. Well guys, that's it. Five nets in. I reckon we give it about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna go prep the food now. So I know we're gonna get some. And then it's lunch time. Woo! All right guys, 
It's currently been 10 minutes. Time for a check. Net number one. Already has the abbeys in it. Look at that. <laughs> How's that? Well, we'll get the bigger ones out. Like I said, we're gonna need 10, 15 to get a feed. Let's do a bit of a cook up. Alrighty, that'll do with that net. Cut the rest back. We'll get the net back out there. Woo! Oh, how good's this? Alright guys, net two. Let's hope we get some in here. Very shallow here. How's that? <laughs> it's alive. Oh, that's good. We'll get some big ones out of here. Probably only need about, I don't know, 10 more. We'll do a bit of a cook up. Oh, eggs. A lot of them have eggs, so you gotta watch out for that. It is breeding time. All right, guys, we'll just grab a couple more for lunch. Definitely no shortage. <laughs> How's that? Love it. All right, guys, this is gonna be dinner. So we've got all these yabbies here. There's probably about, I don't know, 20 of them. So what we're gonna do is humanely kill these yabbies, rip their tails off, and I'll, I'll show you what to do next. So I'll dispose of these yabbies, and then we'll get into the cooking. All right, guys, so what you wanna do to get the poo tube out, you got your tail here, the back end of the tail, you got this little center section. So you pull it side to side, like that. And pull it out. And there's your poo tube. So you got... Your yabby tail still got its uh, shell on, but no poo tube. So we'll do all that. Get them all ready. And I'll show you the next step. Alright guys, the next thing you want to do. Grab some scissors. Cut all the, all the way down the center of the yabby and then split the tail like that and just leave it like that that's all you need to do butterfly it so we'll get all them cut and we'll get to cooking them just like that boom the reason you cut it like that it exposes all the meat like that so all the flavors can entwine with the meat when you're cooking it alrighty Let's get it on the fire. So we'll light this up. We're just using a little 360 degrees cooker here. Same one as I use in all my other videos. So we'll get that on there. Now, olive oil. A good dose of that. Just like that. Next, minced garlic. One of my favorites. You can't cook yabbies without garlic. So we'll get that in there. Boom. Mustard seeds. Once again, you gotta have them too. Um, mixed herbs. Bunch of them in there. Like that. And last but not least, chili infused honey. Give that a bit of spice and sweetness. So we'll mix that around. Get that cooking. A little bit of rice. We'll be eating like a king in no time. Woo! How's this? 
How good does that look? Oh, it's going to taste amazing. All right, guys, while that's cooking, we got brown rice and quinoa. I think that's how you say it. That there. So we'll just whack that in the bowl. A little bit of rice. Like so. And we'll wait for these yabbies to cook. Whack them on top. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's amazing. Woo! Such a simple, quick, easy lunch. Straight from the pond to the plate. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, let's check these yabbies. Had to put my hat on, it's burning my head. Oh, I think they're done. Check this out. How's that? Taste tester time. All right, let's get her on the rice. How good does that look? Oh, smells delicious. All right, let's give her a taste tester. All righty. Oh, wow. Bloody amazing. Bit of rice. <laughs> yep. You just have to try this. <laughs> if you can get your hand on some yabbies or some marron. Just the perfect little lunch. Took a whole probably 10 15 minutes to cook. Oh, it's good. Alright, guys, I'm gonna tuck into this. Oh. And then we'll get back into checking the nets. Woo! I'll see you at the dam. All right, guys, first pull. Net number one. I don't need these jabbies, so I'm gonna chuck them all back. How good's that, but? amazing such a healthy dam I was lucky enough to get permission to go yabby hunting here so you got to respect the farmers wishes only take what you need not what you want Woo. let's get the next one Number two. Feels heavy. The 
same thing. How good's that? <laughs> Lots of pregnant ones, which is good. But we'll get them back. Like I said, I only come here for a feed. So we've had our feed now. Might bring a couple home for the kids and the wife. But um, we'll get them out of the last net. Alrighty, net number three. There's not too many in this one. But there's some decent sized ones. But they can go back too. Got a couple more nets to check. I think we're going to be alright. How good's that? Three nets. Two nearly full. This one not so full, but still. Very healthy dam. Love it. Alright guys, my favourite one once again on the creek. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, we'll get these back in. How's this, guys? <laughs> oh, can't wipe this smile off my face. So many yabbies. <sighs> Gotta love summer days, catching yabbies, cook-ups. Oh, love it. So I think we got one or two more nets to pull. And that's it. On the last net, we'll grab a little bit of a feed. And then, that's the adventure over. Until the next one. Woo! Well guys, lucky last net. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> oh shit. Jesus, we hit the mother load, the yabby jackpot. How's that guys? The last net has the most in it. There's got to be hundreds in there. Alrighty, grab a few big ones out, and that's it. There you go. After all those yabbies, I only kept about probably 40. And that's it, that's all I need. That's it guys, another adventure done. Lunch was good, it was delicious. I've never tried that recipe. I've always wanted to try it, so it's a winner. Give it a go. Um, plenty of yabbies. Hopefully next on our next yabby adventure, we can go to a different dam, trying to talk some farmers into letting me um, yabby in their property. So hopefully that's in the near future. And um, yeah, I hope you've all liked it. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And um, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. I uh, hope you enjoy my videos as much as I like making them for you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next adventure. See ya.